Hello everybody, this is Linda with Overbrook Quilt Connection. And today we are doing day 14 or block 14 of Modus Stitch Pink and this block is called Along Comes Mary. I will be honest with you, this block gave me some challenges and I'm hoping that by watching this demo that we uh, that I will help you get through some of those challenges. For um, your cutting, let me show you. For your cutting, you're doing um, 10 and a fourth inch squares of both a, a light or a medium and a dark. And you do 10 and a fourth inch squares that are cut on the diagonal both ways. And so you're really only using, you're using two of those triangles or only half of that big square. The same is true for the, you know, for both of these. Um, also, when you're cutting your background, you have four, four and a fourth inch squares that again, you're gonna cut on the diagonal both ways. You're going to use, um, you're gonna have half of one of those triangles that are unused. So basically you're gonna use 14 of the 16 triangles that you end up with. Then in the uh, in their pat in the pattern they show two sides are done with a lighter uh, pink and two sides are done with a darker pink. If you follow that uh, methodology then you will be using um, you'll cut two squares of the lighter and you will use all um, eight of those triangles and of the darker you will cut two squares but you're only going to use one and a half of those you're you know you're going to cut all these on the diagonal both directions and so you'll have two triangles of the darker left two triangles of the white left two triangles of the light big ones and the dark big ones left so you have a lot of pieces left uh, hopefully these big ones will be able to be reused or cut down in, you know, to be used in some fashion because I would hate to waste that much fabric, but we'll see. So the first thing that you'll do is sew a quarter square triangle out of your big triangles. And that will be squared up to nine and a half inches. The... Um, that I, I did the, the center uh, swirl like usual and you know all my seams were pressed in a spiral. Okay, then we get to these borders. I'm going to lay out some of this. Hang on just a minute. Let me get my let me get the rest of my border pieces. I was not I didn't bring it all over with me. Sorry. Okay, you're going to, to make corner pieces, and you'll make two of them, um, two sets of two, and they will have the long sides on the outside corner. So you're going to make your four corner pieces and set them aside. Okay, then we assemble these side pieces. Now, the, um, the darker ones use three darks and two lights and the lighter ones are the opposite they will use three background pieces and two of the lights now this this part was challenging for me the this border needs to measure two inches and you need a quarter inch seam allowance where all these triangles intersect in order to be able to sew it to the big square without losing your points so i i normally sew with a scant quarter inch seam allowance this time for these seams i had to sew with a bigger seam allowance i moved my my needle over several clicks it was um 
probably not quite an eighth of an inch, probably around a sixteenth of an inch. I had to move it over. So, um, so you might want to play around with that. Also, when you're putting these together, you have to offset your uh, your triangles. And you end up offsetting them more than you think you will need to. And I'll be honest, I took these out multiple times. And the good part about taking it, taking a seam out is because then you have your stitching line to show you where you stitched before, so it's easier for you to line up the next time. But, you know, we don't really want to rip out if we don't have to. So, um... So this is the dark side sewn and you can't really, you kind of have to sew them in the order that they are laid out. Um, you can't really, when you sew them in pairs ahead of time, it kind of makes you lose your reference points a little bit. I thought it made it harder to find where my next seams went if I sewed these two together and then tried to sew. Because somehow here, it was harder for me to figure out where to place my next pair. So I ended up sewing them all separately. And then when you sew them on to your next, when you sew them on to the, um, to the big half square triangle, if you can see that where those stitches cross right here, that's where you're aiming for when you stitch, stitch your next seam on so you don't lose your points. So that's why you need, why it's pretty important to have that quarter inch seam allowance. Now, when I did this seam here, I set my seam allowance back to my regular scant quarter inch and that worked that worked well so I've sewn two sides on here enough that you can see that um, I'm missing a corner here um, so I I'm going to sew one of these on because the pink needs to be towards this side. Now, um, I also should have said you need to match your centers. You need to match your center. Um, I'm uh, sewing these. I'm going to sew the these two on first. I just sewed part of this on so I could experiment with the corner. Um, so I'm going to finish this other dark side. I'm going to sew it on. Then I'm going to finish my... Uh, light sides and I'm going to sew those on and then I'm going to do the four corners at the end. So I will be back and I will let you know if I have any more challenges along the way. I decided to show you my borders before I put them on. I have the other two sides sewn and I'm going to show you the back because I want you to see that you can tell the way you press when you sew sew them on you need or when you sew them together you need to press them to where you can still see where those stitches cross over and whether that's on the red or whether that's on the white but you need to press it to where you can see them that way um, it's probably easier for you to see it on this a light one but, so I sewed, um, I sewed the first pair together, and then once you've done that, it's, it's much easier. I always trim off my tips, except this time I did not, because once you have sewn one of these on, it's easier to tell you're, where to line it up, because your tips need to match there. So, um, that helps, that kind of helps to, to line things up. But anyhow, um, I must say the, te the second two sides went together a lot quicker and easier than the first two sides did. Once I figured out my seam allowance, then it went pretty good. Um, all of these, all four of these sides will be the same size. It's a little deceiving because 
you have, um, you know, the, the white one, I don't know, somehow looks like it's a different size than the dark one. It's just a, a, a figment of my imagination. But um, anyhow, now I'm going to go ahead and sew, and you're going to be sewing these long sides to that nine and a quarter inch half square triangle, or nine and a half inch, sorry, nine and a half inch quarter square triangle that we did at the very beginning. So I will come back then and show you how to do the corner units. As I was doing my corners, I realized that I needed to re-sew my corner seams. And so I left this so you can see I, and I hope you can see this, I re-sewed it, I think it's pretty close to a sixteenth of an inch deeper than it was first. There, maybe that's better. Um, so, you can tell um, how I did that. Also, I have one of my corners done. And the reference point that I used to line it up was the seam of the quarter square triangle lined up with the seam of my triangle. So I lined it up like that. So they are, if they nest, that's great. If they don't, just line them up. Um, but that, that is how I decided where to place my corner. Okay, I also, as you're pressing these, you're pressing them out, and they don't really want to go out because of these um, seams here that cross over, but you need them to go out because you need the corner, if it's the other way, it's just unbelievably bulky to try and sew across. Also, I have more than a quarter inch seam allowance here, um, so I am going to line my ruler up with um, the quarter inch right where those seams cross, and then I've also lined it up with the triangle seams the best you can. It may not be perfect. And then I'm going to trim off that little bit. Now I was really scared to do that on the, but finally it was the only way I could get my corners to look good. I was afraid because I was taking off some of the little tips of the triangles, but it it looks okay when I sewed when I sewed it on. It looks it looks okay, and it makes this right here match so much better. So I'm going to finish. Um, Squaring up my corners, here I'll do another one here. So I have the quarter inch right where those seams all intersect and I'm lining it up with my triangle seams and I'm taking, and as you can see, I'm taking off a fair amount on this one. Um, they haven't all been exactly the same. Um, so then I still have just one more, so I'll go ahead and do it also. So I'm lining it up here, I'm lining it up here, I'm making sure I'm just square all over the place. And then I took a fair amount off there also. All right, I'm going to finish lining up my, my corners, and then I will come back and I'll show you the finished block, and I'll also let you know if you have to do any squaring up. I have the corners done now. Remember as you're putting them on, the pink side of the corner needs to go against the pink side of the border. So that's why you do them backwards because you're gonna have two on the pink side and two and the white always goes towards the dark. Um, also, as you can see, the white side is what is sewn to the middle when it's on the pink side, and the dark is what is sewn towards the middle on the light side of the half square triangles. I measured this. It came out pretty exact to 12 and a half. 
I'm just going to trim off the tips. I'm not going to do any further squaring up, but let me see if I can show you the entire... Sorry, I'm not sure I can get back far enough to show you the entire one. I think I have my camera tilted down too far. But here's our completed Along Came Mary block. Um, all right, so in this corner, in these corners, if you can see this, okay, I think this one maybe is, has a little better contrast. You can see I stitched with this side up, and as I told you before, I matched the center seam with the, the seam of the quarter square triangle. So then I used this as my reference point to sew my seam. Um, I used a really true quarter inch seam on this, not a scant one. And as you can see, it's still sometimes, let me see if I can get this where you can see it better. So you're, you're trying to have all these triangles come together in the same spot. So, um, Good luck with that. And um, anyhow, I, I do think it's a pretty block there. Now that I've turned my camera up a little bit, I think it's easier to see it. So here is Along Came Mary, and I'll see you back tomorrow for block 15, which will be halfway done. All right, thanks. See you tomorrow.